Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 11 says a history class is made up of 12 10th graders and 9 11th graders. The 10th graders averaged 77 on the midterm exam and the 11th graders averaged 91 on the midterm exam. What was the average grade on the midterm exam for the entire class? Well, uh, we only have a total of 21 students, right? So, you know, 12 plus 9. So we have a total of 29, uh, 21 students. Total of 21 students. And so what we need to do is we need to average all 21 of their grades. Okay, so to find the average, let's write this out. Average is equal to the uh, sum, or maybe I'll write this as a fraction here, equal to the, um, oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Let's maybe not. We'll say the sum of all the grades divided by how many grades there are, and in this case, that would mean the number of students. Total number of students. And we want to divide these. Okay, so we already figured out the total number of students is 21, so we know what our denominator is going to be, but we need to find the sum of all the grades, and that, I think, is really um, the, the hard part here. Oh, the hardest part here. So it says there are 12 10th graders and their average was a 77. But we could basically say that each one of them got a 77 and still have the same uh, average, right? So we're going to multiply 12 students by 77, right? Because each one of them, you could say, got a 77. Not that they did, but their average was a 77, so it would be the same thing. Um, it, you'd have the same average if they were all the same. Saying that right? I think so. Um, and the 11th graders, there were nine of them. So we're going to add nine of these, 91. Okay, it looks like the 11th graders are doing better than the 10th graders. And we will divide that by the total number of students, which is 21. They do get a calculator on this. Um, so you really shouldn't get this wrong if you set it up correctly. Let's break this down one step at a time, though. 12 times 77 is going to be 924. And then 9 times 91 is going to be 819. If I add those two together, I get 1743. Right. Last step here is I'm going to divide that by 21. Again, you could put all this in your calculator at once. Um, move that over so I'm not in the way here. But uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to put this in the calculator now. 1743 uh, divided by 21 is going to give me 83. All right, that's my answer. And I see I do have an 83 answer choice, so that makes me feel pretty good about my answer. Uh, it's answer choice B. That's it for number 11. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.